Hey everybody, this is Brian. Today we'll be talking about casting variables, narrowing, and widening. Okay, what is casting a variable? No, it's not like uh, Dungeons and Dragons casting a magic spell or something. What it is, is you convert a value from one thing to another. So we'll say we have our integer of zero, and we will make a floating value and float. And we will say this is 4.125. Now, if you're wondering what that little f at the end, that just means we're denoting that as a float. See, if we take that out, it doesn't like it. It says, drum roll, cannot, cannot convert that. So we have to change either to a double, or we have to add a cast of float. That's also legal, but it's just easier to use the shorthand and just put a lowercase f behind it. So we have two primitive types. Now, how do we know they're primitive? Remember we talked about wrapper classes with boxing and unboxing. How do we know these are primitives? Well, they're lowercase. If you wanted to do a wrapper class, you would do the uppercase. That's a wrapper class. That's a primitive. So let's just stick with primitives to keep this simple. Now let's say we want to convert this floating point into an integer. Now what's the difference between a floating point and an integer first off? Well, an integer doesn't have a decimal point. A floating does. does. So anything past this decimal point is not an integer. That is an integer. That is not. So to convert this value, what we're going to need to do is called a cast. And the syntax for this is really simple. We're going to say m int equals, and then in parentheses type the type that you want to cast to, in this case an integer, and then the value you're casting from. And let's review. You have two primitive types, an integer and a float. This part of the float is an integer. This part is not. So when we cast, we're saying take m int is going to equal the value of, and we're casting to an int, m float. So basically, let's read this in reverse so it's easier to understand. m float is being converted to an int and assigned to the value m integer. I should say the reference at miniature. Now let's do a system dot out dot oops. That print line. I still can't type today. This is the third video and I still can't type, so bear with me. Mint. Now when we run this, what do you think is gonna happen? We're spitting out mint this guy, and you see we've assigned it the value of mflow, but we've cast it to an integer. Let's find out. There's the 4. Where'd the rest of it go? It should be 4.125. No, you shouldn't. Because remember, an integer does not have a decimal point. That's called narrowing. The problem with casting from one type to another is you have narrowing and widening. What you've just seen is narrowing, meaning we are taking this float, casting it to an integer, meaning we are stripping off this extra information. Now widening is the exact opposite. Widening would be when we say m float equal, and we're going to cast this. That's called a widening conversion. So let's actually just narrowing, widening. Let's space these out a little bit so they're not so confusing. So this is a narrowing conversion. We're going from a bigger number to a smaller number. And this is a widening conversion. We're going from a smaller number to a bigger number. So let's just spit out m float and see what's going to happen. Now if you start at the top here, you see we've got two variables, m int, m float. One's an integer, one's a floating. We're going to take our floating value, convert it to an integer, assign it to the integer reference. That's a narrowing conversion, meaning it's getting smaller. And then, as a cruel twist of fate, we're going to turn right around and widen it. So we're going to say our integer, so at this point it's 4, is going to be widened to a floating point and assigned to the float reference. So when we spit this out, it's probably still going to say 4. Do you believe me? Let's find out. 4.0. You see how it added that extra 0 in there, because the floating point always has a decimal place. That, in a nutshell, is casting. 
Another handy little trick I can show you real quick here is the two-string method. And for that, what you really need to do is create a wrapper class. So we're just going to say int integer m test. We'll just call it test equal two three four. Now let's say we want the string representation of this. Well, with wrapper classes, you can do dot two string, and as you can see, it converts it to string. You can also do two binary, two hex, two octal. You can do two string with a certain formatting. There's many, many things you can do. So let's just kind of test this. Do our handy copy and paste. And when we run it, you see there's 234. We have our 4.0 and our 234. So if none of that was apparently clear to you, you should probably rewind the video and rewatch it. This is not an easy topic, so don't beat yourself up. What you just need to know is that we are converting. You're converting from a float to an integer, from an integer to the float, and then you have narrowing and widening. You really need to understand the difference between those. Well, this is Brian. I'm running out of time, so I thank you for watching, and I hope you found this educational and entertaining.